How's it going everyone? Paul with Adaptable Survival. What I want to do in today's video is take a look at a military issued survival kit and compare it to a civilian survival kit that you can get online. Stick with me as we take a look at them. So the two survival kits that I want to take a look at today is a military issued survival kit. To the best of my knowledge, this is issued to Air Force pilots. Uh, there is a medical version. I don't have that one, unfortunately. Uh, the other kit that I have is a five coal survival uh, wilderness survival module. Uh, five coal survival did send me these kits uh, about a month or so back to check out. Uh, I'll talk a little bit more about that later in the video, but what I want to do now that I have a chance to get out in the woods, take a look at these, is I'm gonna open the issued kit as well as the survival module, compare and contrast the two, see what similarities are, see what differences there are, and then one of my next videos, uh, next couple of weeks, I will put together a survival kit based off of similar items to this and kind of make improvements uh, based around things that I've used, my skill set, stuff like that. So let me get a top-down view and we will start off with the issue. All right, so zoomed in a little bit so we can take a look at this, uh, get this in the camera here, this issued kit. Uh, now this one was manufactured in September 2016 and expired last January, um, but I'm just confident all the components should be fairly good in here. Uh, what's cool about this, and my buddy Andrew over at Ranger Fieldcraft and Survival did some really similar videos to this. Uh, but with this grommet here, you could attach this to a pocket, anything like that. But you got an open here tab, so let's tear this open. Take a look at it. So, just discard that. Oh. And then, this is the kit inside and tells you the same information on the label as well. Uh, let's see. Now this is just like a brown Ziploc bag. First thing we have in here is a whistle. This is a flashlight. I think this may be the infrared one. Nope, this is the red one. Should have known that by color of the knob there got some wet fires little sparker some cotton in there a little tube now this is the one I do believe this is the infrared light that comes in here Try to save my knees here. A uh, little Leatherman squirt. Nice handy little multi-tool. File on there. Little knife. Nothing too fancy, just a small tool that can get you by. Then we have some Micro, micro Pure tablets. And then we got a signal and mirror here. This is just a little match case. You can buy these just about anywhere. Little button compass. Then you got your matches in there, striker, all that fun stuff. And then you got a combat cravat, tons of uses for this. And that is everything inside the bag. Oh, I lied. Got a handcuff key in here, so you can store this on your body somewhere. So, a lot of different options to help you get by. Just trying to see if there's any kind of water container. I don't really see one in here. So 
Um, I know I've watched a few other videos on this sp specific kit and I can't remember offhand if those ones came with any kind of bag, but with the purification tablets, uh, you kind of need a container to put that water in, put the tablets in. So first thing off the bat, that's the one thing I see that's missing in this kit, as well as something to use as a shelter. Uh, but you could improvise one easy enough off of debris off the landscape. Um, but if you are in, a, in a, an escape evasion uh, type scenario, which this kit is really based on, uh, you're not really setting up to camp for the night, anything like that. So, you know, your typical camping rules, standard practices uh, wouldn't really apply when you're using this kit. Uh, let me get this picked all back up and we'll dive into the wilderness survival mod. Right, so let's take a look at the five coal survival wilderness survival module it's a mouthful uh, but right off the bat i do like the bag that's in the, that it comes with uh, this is in a lock sack um, these are really really nice so first thing off we got fire starter aviation survival spark light really similar to what was in the tube in the issued kit if not the same exact thing um, but you got some tinder, ta tinder quick tabs in there. Kind of a pain to get out, uh, but you get the sparker there as well. Get that up nice and close there. So you have a wire saw, and I'd be interested to try this out because I've had not so good luck with those. Here, you just have some Yuko Stormproof matches. Um, these things are the same thing that I carry in my kit. I uh, like the compact matches from my fire starting series. You'll notice those. Uh, wrapped up in this cardboard. Tear this open. And now you have another survival, a signal mirror, I should say. So this one is definitely a little bit more beefier than the one that comes in that issued kit. This one actually feels like it is glass where the other one felt like it was more like a plastic. And this is a CJ light. I have looked at these on Five Coals site before if it's any indication as the same as all right what's going on here there we go so just another red light this one's got a little tube on it pop that off and now you can signal with this if you need to i do like that a little bit better than that smaller one that came in the issued kit here if I can kneel a little bit closer to the camera just got some duct tape obviously million million and one uses for that we have a little razor blade cutting tool right in the rain puka pen I have a ton of these at home and in my kits a little hank of cordage and you have a whistle bottom here have small hank of paracord with a ranger band uh, just holding it together not exactly sure on the length of this there is a little spec sheet that comes inside here so I'll grab that in a second here and now this is one of the main differences between this kit and that military issued kit is these whirl packs are great to use with those purification tablets uh, five coal survival did send me some purification tablets that go along with this kit uh, i just forgot to grab them when i came out today uh, but when you pull out this little spec sheet it gives you a full rundown and i'll see if i can't try and get this in the camera here of what comes in that kit 
Now, it's a great template to build off of, uh, just a little compact survival kit you can toss into any kit. Um, so, this smaller bit of cordage, you got 10 feet and you got 25 feet here. So, with that amount of cordage, I can definitely set up a multitude of shelters uh, in combination with some of these other tools. I could do quite a few different things. You know, I do have some sort of container there so I can use purification tablets with those whirl packs. I have seen people boiling them. I've never personally done that, uh, but that is something I do plan on testing. Uh, there is one other thing that I need to grab that no, this doesn't, doesn't fall into the packing list. Let me see if I can get this in here. It's the Blizzard IFAC. Uh, this is just like an emergency blanket. Uh, it seems like it's a little bit more heavy duty than your typical ones that you buy, just the Mylar blankets. Uh, I'm not going to tear this one open today because I do have a plan for all of this kit. Let me gather up both kits and we'll talk about both of them. So you can definitely see there's some pros and cons to both of these kits. Nice thing with the issue kit, since it is more designed for like an E&E &E situation, nice and compact, can put this in a cargo pocket, no problem. Uh, you could get all these tools in the five coal wilderness survival module in your pocket as well. I uh, just have to kind of disperse that gear out a little bit. Now, with that being said, I've always tried to be as uh, unbiased, transparent as possible with everyone that comes and views my channel, all of my subscribers. So I am an affiliate with Five Coal Survival, but same thing with being an affiliate for the Pathfinder School, that doesn't influence the reviews, the videos that I do. I wanna give you an honest view on the gear that I'm trying out, that I'm testing, give you my opinion on it, uh, give you some pros and cons of the gear that I've found and let you make up your decision. I will throw a link down to Five Coal Survival. So you can check out these kits, some of the other tools that they offer, but by no means think this is me trying to sell you anything. At the end of the day, I don't care if you buy anything through those links, I try to set those up there for you to easily access some of the gear that I'm trying out. I do get a very, very small kickback, which helps build the channel, helps me buy more gear to try out, but by no means ever feel obligated that you need to buy anything through my links. But as I said, I do have a plan for these kits. So what I'm hoping to do is I'm gonna do an overnighter with either one or the other, uh, or maybe both. I haven't completely decided on that, but I wanna test out the viability of using these kits and just a one night overnighter situation, just to kind of see the pros and cons, how the gear performs, those different things. So I didn't really dive into that in this video because I wanna do those things in the field as it's happening so you can see how they perform, if the wire saw holds up or if it breaks on the first go around, those sorts of things. So I didn't wanna dive heavily into specs, anything crazy like that because I don't wanna bore you to death, but I wanted to do a quick little overview looking at the two. And as I said, in the next couple of weeks, I will do my own variation of the style of kit off of gear that I've used, stuff that I've tested, and items that I would personally carry. In the comment section down below, let me know if you've used either of these, tried them out, or what kind of personal survival kits, pocket survival kits you are using. I am going to be doing a class next year about building a pocket survival kit. So when that time comes, I will do a video on it as well. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. That gets more views and eyes on the channel. Uh, helps get more people involved in our community, helps bring them in so we can grow our knowledge base and learn together and grow together. As always, this has been Paul with Adaptable Survival. Adapt your mind, your body, and your gear.